please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon, and never miss an update from Passionate Geeks. Hey, what's happening, guys? PG is here. So, in this video, I'm going to show you the best and the fastest method to poach a kernel. So, yeah, without wasting any time, let's start the video. Okay guys, you think you remember, but first you have to go to my blog and download the ROM, whatever you want that I already uh, mentioned the link in the description, go download the ROM, whatever you want, go to my blog and you will find this lineage OS or whatever the ROM you want, make sure you download the proper chipset for your device, if you are running a 6582 then download the 6582, if 92 then 92 and 72 and all. So just open the link and download the ROM. So here you can find the uh, download link. So in my blog you can also like me, like my uh, Facebook page for the updates. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and all. So now you have the things you have to remember before starting this process. And the process is first go to your PC. So here. I have my I have my base room and the port room. The my base room and the port room should be the same. The kernels are different, but if one is CM, then other should be of CM. So make sure you have the same versions of Android, same uh, based rooms. Only the kernels can be different, and nothing else. Chipset should be the same. So first you have to you have to make a two separate folders and extract the rooms. So this is my CM based LP kernel room and this is my lineage OS that is uh, uh, KitKat kernel room. So I'm going to extract both the rooms. So here in my LP kernel room that is my base room and the KK kernel room that is my port room. So what you're gonna do is you have to open your base room and. Uh, open the system and select the six folders like this app framework media private app and the builder prop and delete them so now copy these folder from your port room and add them into your base room okay this one is easy so you can easily download, uh, do it Next, you have to open the lib files of your base room and select all the files. Except you have to remove your selection from these three files. And you have to find the files that start from web and java. You also have to Unselect those, those files which have starting line is start from the web Java. So these are the three files starting from the web, and uh, I have to find the Java files. Every room has a Java files, maybe a two or three uh, lib files of Java type. You just have to unselect those from your base room. So these are the two files. So now delete all the files except those three that you unselected now in your port room go to your lib file select all and but unselect those files that we get from the base room that is you have to unselect the these six files that we had in the base room so now you have to unselect these file in your port room also but instead of delete you have to copy all the files except the six files and add them into your lib files of the base room just move them and nothing else okay we done the lib part we done the oh, app part okay next now you have to open your base room and uh, go to the bin folder that you found here and this is a bin folder uh, yeah this yeah this one okay now select 
all the files of the port rom bin now select all the files and replace them with your base rom now we have the all the files okay now you can now the last part is we have to edit the build.prop so for editing the build.prop you have to first you need the build.prop of your port room and you have to find the lines with a name density so you can easily get the build.prop from the zip of your room so like i don't i just deleted the build.prop from my both rooms so i need it back so i need to So I need to add the builder prop in my port room also. This is my base room. You have to find the line density. Just search the density. If the density of the port room and the base room is same, then do not change anything. If if there is a, uh, some changes like you have a 220, 210, then you have to add a 210. Okay, now let's check the build prop prop of my port room I need to extract this okay done so this is my build or prop of my port room okay now I have to find density like density at the same it also have a 210 and those blues also have the 210 so I don't need to add add or change things so I don't need to do changes in the build or prop i just simply replace or you use it all depend upon you you can change the name you can change the version and all okay now we can close the port room tab so after doing all the changes so as you see it is the best and fastest way to put kernels like i have a stable my LP kernel room and I have uh, was stable my KitKat kernel room so I I had I just put it the room from base to board so this is the very simple process you can put them but I'm not sure I'm not going to uh, tell you that when you put it it will be 100% bugless it do it have a bugs and many of bugs so you have to solve one by them so thanks for watching guys stay tuned